a pivotal figure in the development of China's aircraft carrier fleet, Valery Babich, a top Soviet-era engineer who designed seven aircraft carriers, passed away, leaving behind a remarkable legacy of technical contribution and dedication. In 1998, facing destitution in post-Soviet Ukraine, Babich rejected a million-dollar offer from an American defense giant to instead join China, which he deemed a truly trustworthy country. In 2002, Babich, along with over 200 Ukrainian experts, embarked on a life-changing journey to the east. His mission was to aid in the completion of the unfinished carrier, the Variak, which had been sold as scrap after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Arriving at the Dalian shipyard in 2005, the 64-year-old engineer provided the original blueprints, personally drawn by him, to bewildered Chinese engineers struggling with the ship's complex systems. For the next seven years, Babich dedicated himself entirely to the project. He toiled through harsh winters, meticulously compiling the Soviet carrier construction secrets into manuals and personally training the Chinese workers. His efforts culminated on September 25, 2012, when the Variag was reborn as the Liaoning, China's first aircraft carrier. Standing in the background, the 71-year-old Babich quietly wiped away tears as the five-star flag was raised, a moment for which he had foregone seven years of home. His commitment didn't end there. In 2022, upon the launch of the Fujin, China's first domestically designed and built carrier featuring an electromagnetic catapult, an emotional Babbage felt the bittersweet triumph of a project he had longed to complete sooner. Before his death, the veteran engineer, who settled in Qingdao, received a special gift. A model of the carrier Shandong from its crew, inscribed with the words, the pilot who never loses his way. His life's work, entrusted to the Chinese Navy, is remembered not with a statue, but as an eternal ray of light, guiding China's deep blue maritime aspirations.